Welcome, hockey fans. We are back to a hockey night in Simsbury. And tonight we have a very special game for you. Tonight we have the Northwest Catholic Lions facing off against our Simsbury Trojans. Trojans are coming off of two tough losses. They come in with a record of four wins and five losses, while Northwest Catholic comes in with five wins and one loss, with their only loss being to Simsbury. So it's always an exciting matchup when we get these two teams together there's a lot of interaction between the families on either team and we are thrilled again to show you for us at least some live sports joining me this evening is uh, both of my color commentary extraordinaires we've got the captain chris cody with me this evening and jake ostern as well as cameraman extraordinaire Nick Sinecori, who in our last game I forgot to mention. And a special thanks to Karen and Patrick back in our SCTV studios who make all this magic happen. All right, without further ado, I'd like to bring Jake in to tell us a little bit about the matchup this evening. Hey, Jake. Hey, Mike. Great to see you. So we got Northwest Catholic in the building tonight taking on the Simsbury Trojans. We're going to start with Northwest Catholic. They come in to tonight's contest with a record of 5-1. and one. Their yep. only loss came against Simsbury back on February 13th. And was that their first game for both teams, or that it was, was real early that was in the their season? Second, that was the second for Simsbury. Okay. And I think it was the second for Northwest gotcha. Catholic also. So okay. Noah Melanza got the game-winning goal for Simsbury in that one. Uh, the Lions went 7-12-1 and one last season, so a little bit of a down year last year. They were the number four seed in the CCC tournament. Uh, they beat Simsbury okay. in the in the semifinals 4-3 in overtime at this very same rank, and then they lost to Farmington Valley in the CCC championship. Excellent. Uh, so in six games played, Northwest Catholic has put the puck in the net 26, 26 times, so they're averaging right around four per game, and then they've Given up 12 uh, goals so far this season, so an average of two. Dan Melanson is the head coach of the Lions in his fourth season, so he and his squad are ready to take on the Trojans. The tonight. Melanson family in general has not only put a stamp on hockey in Simsbury and or Connecticut, but specifically on the Northwest uh, Catholic hockey team. I know Donald, his brother, is also uh, assistant coach with him and has done that for some time, as a bunch of the Melanson uh, family members have run through the program, as well as the Simsbury program. Right. So there's a big Melanson tie. And, and there's a sibling rivalry tonight. Connor, oh. Connor Melanson is on Northwest Catholic. His younger brother, Noah, is on Simsbury. Oh, so battle of brothers be something tonight. To watch. Well... Thank you, Jake. That's fantastic. I want to bring CC in real quick. I mean, the last time we were together, the last game we did was an overtime thriller right. against Farmington Valley. Um, Simsbury scored the tying goal with six or eight seconds to go in the game and the winning goal with 32 seconds to go in overtime. So hopefully we don't have that much drama tonight. But again, looking forward to a, uh, a very good game tonight. Listen, this is a great game. Um, this is the one that you circle on the calendar every year. Um, they used to play this around Christmas time. Um, every year that was the big game. This game is a backyard brawl every year with the families and the kids that are on, the, on these squads. Um, some of the kids in the families go to Simsbury High. Yep. Some of them go to Northwest. Um, you talked about the Melansons. The Melansons are just tremendous in the impact that they've left on Simsbury hockey. Um, their grandfather, yes. Alfred, yep. um, he was one of the founders of Simsbury uh, youth hockey. He went into their Hall of Fame um, a few years ago. He's, he's left a, a tremendous legacy with the, with the boys. Uh, Paul's sons are in the game. So the grandsons, these are the youngest boys. Yep. Um, this is going to be their last regular regular season game where they're going to play against each other. Wow. Um, okay. So there's, there's a lot of, uh, lot of layers to this game. Oh, yeah. Um, Paul, who's their dad, he, uh, he helped coach the, the girls' uh, Simsbury High School team. You know, it's it's funny, but those guys, there's all kinds of hockey stories, and the Melansons are really probably the first family of hockey. Absolutely. As far back as, as anyone in town can, I mean, it goes back a long, long well, time. Well, I can tell you in the early 1980s, uh, this 
person right here played midget hockey for my coach Melanson, Alfred Melanson. Right. And uh, it was a privilege. It was a privilege to be coached by him and uh, – you know, very sad day when he passed, and uh, but he's left a tremendous legacy on. No doubt to uh, this hockey program in Simsbury. So, no doubt. So we're excited. It's we're a excited. great game. It'll be a lot of fun tonight. Right? Lots of action. Beautiful. All right. Uh, quickly wrapping it up. A shout out to athletic director Jeff Penny, who graciously. Uh, gave us a, a, these gifts of these Simsbury High School uh, masks. So we we love the mask, and there was a lot of comments on YouTube after our first game that our masks weren't coordinated. And uh, <laughs> Coach Aaron's uh, props to you for uh, getting that, getting us all in line and making sure that we had the right colors on our faces. So we are almost ready for puck drop. We'll be back uh, in a little bit and uh, for first period action. And here we are, folks. We are back awaiting uh, puck drop and starting lineups for Simsbury and Northwest Catholic before the singing of the national anthem. The teams have just completed their eight-minute warm-up as they get ready to duel it out tonight, Jake. We are in, uh, we're not in our bird's nest anymore. We are in the comforts of a room that is at the corner of the rink. It's literally 68 degrees in here. It's We're not hanging over the ice worrying that CC's going to fall over at any given moment. We're, we're uh, set. Here's the starting line. So number 20, uh, Ethan Porter is starting for the Lions, followed by 21, Bobby Lachance, assistant captain for the Northwest Catholic Lions. Connor Melanson uh, will be on the first line and captain, flanked by Jack Gonzalez, and I hope I say that right, Gonzalez, number 16, and uh, number two, Cam Barone. Uh, and in net for the Lions this evening is Patrick Schulitz. And there's the rest of the Northwest Catholic Lions. Now for the starting lineup for our Simsbury High School Trojans. And let's see what uh, Coach Keith Balsowitz is uh, going with. Um, left wing, number two, Luke Melanson, who I think was incorrectly referred to as Noah during the pregame, so we'll have to uh, make sure and we correct that. I but apologize for that. Luke Melanson, um, center, I believe it will be Drew Anastasio, who had the game winner in the last game we did flanked by Quinn Hegney. So that's a different starting lineup. Uh, Connor Wilhelm will be uh, one defenseman. And it looks like uh, Griffin Marquis will be the other defenseman on the starting line. And in net tonight will be number 30, Justin Loveland. Loveland is a junior and had a heck of a game the last game we did against Farmington Valley. All right, we will now stand for our national anthem. We are ready for some hockey here tonight uh, in Simsbury, Connecticut. 
the International Skating Center. Uh, I was looking around. Now, who was, who's the backup goalie down there, Jake? Number 35. 35 is not li listed on here. No, we just have Justin as uh, we, the goalie, so we'll have to get who 35 is. And Brent, Brendan Lynch is also listed, and he's, he's rostered as number one. Okay. All right. Terrific. I was taking a look at some of the Northwest Catholic uh, skaters in CC. There's number five, Jack McDermott, number Sean, number nine, Sean Trombley, number 18, Chris Russo, and number 26, Will Burke, are some big boys. Yeah, they definitely have a uh, a pretty large team, physical. Um, Melanson, who we talked about a little bit before, yeah. uh, playing with uh, with Northwest. Um, I was told earlier today that he is probably one of the top ten players in the state. Connor. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it was fantastic the last time these guys matched up. Um, older brother versus younger brother. Right. Um, Luke had the game winner, which was fantastic. But they had scored uh, between the between the two brothers. They scored, I believe, four goals. Jake, was that right? Four. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was two and two and two and two. But uh, so there's so there's always bragging rights when these games happen, especially when they're you have brothers playing in the same family. You know the dynamic is fantastic. Think about you know the 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 little brother is playing against his older brother and his uncles. So, right, 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 right. So the uncles are the coach. You have to think about what Thanksgiving is like over there at the Melants in the States. That's exactly right. And we're ready to go. Here we go. Puck drops. One by Simsbury. Off to the corner. Cam Barone shoves it up to center ice. Uh, and there's Connor Melanson just talking about him, taking right away from Drew Anastasio. Anastasio over to Wilhelm. Wilhelm up to Livingston. Livingston taking the puck, center ice, down the left side. Hits Quinn. Uh, puck goes into the corner. He's wrote off the puck there by uh, Bobby Lachance. And out breaks Northwest Catholic. Nice pass to the center. Oh, great break up there. By, I believe that was uh, Marquis on um, 21, Bobby Lachance. Or uh, I think that was Ethan Porter for Northwest Catholic. Simsbury is able to get it out of their defensive zone. Uh, we didn't do keys to the game, so CC, I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you, I'm gonna bang you with that as soon as we get to our first intermission here. Wow! Simsbury takes the puck behind the net, behind Justin Loveland, and they're having a little bit of a difficulty getting it deep into Northwest zone. Here we go. Number 24 there, JJ Hurley goes into the corner with Captain. Aaron Livingston in uh, Northwest trying to break out. Unable to do so. Here's Simsbury. Now it just breaks over to blue line. Simsbury dumps it back in. Uh, it was number three there, Elijah Livingston. Two Livingston boys there. And some good action here early. It's very early as we start the first period. Now breaks Northwest Catholic. Looks like they might have a two-on-one. It's Corey Alissi coming down the right side, and it's broken up nicely by Alex Perlman. Alex did a great job there. Um, Simsbury now trying to break out. Backhanded pass to the center of the ice, and there is uh, Ryan McCormick. Ryan shoved off by Cam Barone. Barone's a good little hockey player. There's a nice move in front of his netminder. And out once again breaks uh, Ethan Porter. Porter goes behind the net with uh, Reed Bolger. Bulger on for the first time. Then it looks like the puck gets caught up in the back of the net, and we're going to have a whistle. So, CC, again, we always talk about it. You know, keys to the game. We don't want to take any penalties in the offensive zone. But um, what do you think uh, Simsbury has to do tonight to come out victorious? Well, I, I think uh, the Anastasio line is, is hot. Let me put it that way. We have yep. Mighty Quinn on that line. Anastasia is really a very, very uh, solid playmaker. Yes, um, but you know what? Here's the deal with this. Overall, with the whole game, this is a this is a tremendous legacy game, right? So when we talk about legacy guys, talk about um, father, sons, uncles, the whole nine Ooh. yards. Yep. Um, you know, so you look at guys like uh, like Lachance. Um, yep. His dad is a uh, is a ten year scout in NHL. Yeah. Played some hockey at BU, which is which is great. Wow. His uncle Scott. Um, was the number four overall draft pick in 1991 in Gee. NHL. Um, Wait, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Here we go. 
Simsbury and almost on cue a little while ago, Luke Melanson had an open net and whiffed on a shot, just as you were talking about legacy. Here's a puck bounce back to number three with a quick shot. That was Elijah Livingston. So quick that it went over the shoulder of our our uh, Patrick Schulitz, goaltender there for Northwest Catholic, and back all the way down Simsbury's end. J.J. Hurley now with the puck at center ice, trying to get around a couple of Simsbury players. Was back in the corner, Livingston back there and gives the puck right up in front to Northwest Catholic. Taken back now by Simsbury as they try to get it out of the zone. Pass in the front, uh, trying to get it over to Aaron Livingston. And Simsbury just a little bit off on the uh, tape-to-tape -tape passes here. Uh, there was a nice shovel pass over to Northwest Catholic. Number eight, that's Evan Curtis. And I'll break Simsbury again. So uh, down the right-hand side, it looks like that's Jack Beckinsall. Beckinsall hovering around, gives it back to Patrick Mahar. Patrick loses it to number 22, Finn Boyd. But brought right back. Patrick goes right back and gets it. There's Reed Bolger in the back trying to get the puck away. Northwest Catholic keeps it. It looks like they're dominating time of possession right now, Northwest Catholic. Uh, Simsbury, though, catching up. Uh, they did a line change, and here we go right in front. Oh, number 16 there, Tommy Humphreys. The nice quick move. Bolger again uh, gives it uh, up to Ethan Porter and outbreaks a three-on-one. Uh, back handed there to 26, Will Burke. Nice save by uh, Justin. Uh, there's a nice pass through a screen. Oh, number 16 there, Jack Gunsalis. And, oh, a nice uh, little stick check there to get the puck over by him. And Northwest Simsbury having a little bit of a difficulty getting the puck out of the zone here. And it's never good. Nice save by Justin. Great, uh, save. great save. So uh, nine minutes and 54 seconds to go in the first period. And right now it looks like it's been mostly Northwest Catholic. CC, go ahead. So just to finish the thought, um, Bobby Luchance's uncle. Yep. 800 games in the NHL, 15-year career. Wow. So I'm watching the legacy guys. I'm, I'm watching the Melansons. I'm watching Luchance. Yeah. Um, those are the guys, I think, that are going to be involved in a lot of the action. Um Mighty Quinn is is definitely one of the guys to, to keep an eye on. Yeah. He's out there right now. Oh. Uh, um, great stop right there. Great stop by Justin. Again, it, it's what's scaring me right now, having watched a bunch of these hockey games, is the more time you spend in someone's zone, uh, the worse off it is. They're, at some point, they're going to put the biscuit in the basket. Here comes number four, Connor Melanson, with a nice nifty move, broken up by Simsbury, and outbreak the Trojans. Coming down the right-hand side is number two, Luke Melanson. Off in the corner behind the net, there's Quinn. Quinn trying to get the puck out in front. Luke comes in. Uh, Luke with his uh, cousin there, right? Luke and Connor are cousins or brothers? Brothers. They're brothers. brothers. There brothers. we go. Brother on brother. He didn't get, gave him a little bit of a shove in the back, but not, <laughs> not, not anything huge. Pucks over now to Connor Wilhelm. Wilhelm looking for a nice pass in Leeds Quinn. Uh, in breaks number six, Aaron Livingston. Livingston in the corner, captain of the Trojans. Over to Perlman. Perlman trying to get the puck out to Elijah Livingston. And out breaks Northwest Catholic. The Lions have a two-on-one if they hurry. And, oh, pass right through the crease. Uh, broken up there by a Simsbury defenseman. Here comes Aaron Livingston down the right-hand side, but quickly broken up by number 22, Finn Boyd, for the Lions. Uh, now, uh, is that an offside? Offside. Yeah, offside, yep. Jake. So yep. offside. we got 8 minutes and 23 seconds left in the first period. Not a lot of action down our end so far, uh, but uh, at least, uh, you know, both teams are, are skating hard. It looks like they're they're both going at it. Well, if you can avoid the mistakes, that's obviously the the key right now, right? So, it's it's you know, at this point there haven't been enough uh, scoring opportunities for the Trojans, but they're not uh, they're not giving up odd man rushes, so they're in in good shape right now. Right. Stay away from the lazy passes, and uh, they should be in good shape as they find the cadence that they need to put together some scoring opportunities. That's right. J.J. Hurley trying to get the puck out to uh, Wilberg. 
and this is going to be icing as uh, Jake to come back down I'm going to assume to the left hand side oh, of Schulitz yep Schulitz and that'll be it in the line it looks like the line out here is Beckinsall uh, Tommy Humphreys Patrick Marr and Patrick Marr and Wilhelm and who's that over there Reed Bolger looks like Wilhelm and Bolger on D there's Tommy Tommy backhands it behind the net Wilhelm waiting over there. Patrick Mahar trying to break it up, causing some interference, and I'll break the Lions. Oh, nice play there by uh, Reed Bolger to step in the passing lane. That was huge right there. Great play by Reed. A little bit of stick checking going on between uh, a Lion and a Trojan in the back end. There's Connor looking to uh, break the pass up, and he does. There's Tommy. Humphreys gets a shot on net. Nice save by Schulitz. He does give a rebound, but out breaks the Lions. <coughs> it comes Corey Alissi. Alissi with a nice move. Tries to pass it in front instead of taking the shot. Take that shot. And back out to number 22. And that was Finn Boyd. Puck's over now on the left side of the D. Northwest just trying to keep the puck in. Looking, there's Connor Melanson. Dipsy and doodling over there in the corner and... Uh, Fakes out his own guys. He tried to pass it back to his defenseman, and now we come all the way back to the Northwest Catholic zone. J.J. Hurley loses it. Uh, Line change. Watch it. And here's a here's Simsray trying to take oh, advantage. Yeah, oh, and they score right there. It's our guy Drew Anastasio with a is. great shot. And uh, again, that was a little bit of a mix-up between Finn Boyd and J.J. Hurley. They lost the puck, um, and who was – do you guys remember who it was behind the net that passed it out to Drew? Um, whoever that was, and I apologize. We'll have to go back and take a look at it on uh, tape, but it was below us. Uh, but Anastasio didn't miss it. Yeah, they went low right between th- – there, uh, there was miscommunication behind the net between the, the, between the Northwest Catholic uh, defensemen, which led to a – which led the Simsbury to capitalize on that. So uh, uh, CC was just saying it. You know, mistake-free hockey up to that point. And here comes our Trojans again, Quinn Hagney. Uh, it may have been Quinn. In fact, I think it was Quinn that passed the puck out in front to Drew, who, again, did not miss the opportunity. He did great work behind the net to, to get the puck. The defenseman kind of... He kind yeah, of threw uh, him off. He threw, kind of threw him off, yeah. yeah. He kind of waved on it. He picked right. it off, and, and it was right there. Man, here come the Trojans again. A nice, oh, just tries to lead Quinn. Uh, I think that was Livingston. Just tried to bounce a pass off the boards to lead Quinn. It was a little too far, and we've got an icing. But isn't it always the way that one team dominates and spends a majority of time in the other team's zone only to have one mistake end up in a goal? You know, like Simsbury has not had a lot of time of puck possession, yet they lead on the scoreboard one to nothing here uh, as we reach the five six minute mark of the first period well the playmakers are going to make the plays so that's it that's that's kind of the key you got to watch those guys there's michael zapp now michael zapp on with uh aiden dwyer and reed bulger online zapp gives it back to connor wilhelm wilhelm tries to get the puck up to aiden driscoll um racing in on it is aiden dwyer Zap over in the corner, too. Mixes up a little bit with a lion. Here comes Dwyer. Dwyer back. Chased after by Driscoll. Uh, and this is going to be icing. Yep. That could have been called either way. I guess it didn't touch anybody. So a little bit of a, a flurry of action here as both teams change up. Um, you know, a uh, a good game, very solid. They look evenly matched, did they not, Jake? I think they they definitely look very very evenly matched. I mean, the, the, these guys back in back in mid February played played a three two overtime game. So from that game, it shows that these teams are evenly matched. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, McCormick. Ryan gives the puck back to Perlman. Perlman trying to get the puck out in front to Livingston. Uh, nice move there by Connor. Connor is a very fluid hockey player. He uh, he moves well with the puck on his stick. Here comes Simsbury again. Livingston trying to get the puck in. Uh, looks like uh, Griffin Marquis busted it in behind the net, deep into the Lions zone. Perlman trying to get the puck out in front. Kept there by Bobby Lachance. 
and then moved over uh, Jack Gonzalez and up to Connor Melanson. Here he goes. He's got a two-on-one, trying to get the puck out in front and does so, but a beautiful save by Justin Loveland. Great save there as he went down. Stick save um, as that looked kind of dicey. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of defense right there on, no. in front of the net, that's for sure. Uh, Sims are trying to uh, Anastasio back on as Perlman comes off. Puck bounces to Finn Boyd. Finn back and forth here. This got him in trouble a few moments ago. Anastasio, too, takes a puck again. Pass oh, out. Oh, trying oh. to return to favor. Here's a pass. Oh, Great nice save. save. Unbelievable save by Patrick Schulitz. Way to get a nice shot on that with that bouncing puck right there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You want to kind of get that on the uh, off the off its edge, but they did do a great job. Seems very flying right now. There's Livingston back into Hegney. Quinn Hegney doing a little back checking. There's a nice stop on a dime by uh, Livingston. Oh, Hegney! It's upended there by Corey Alissi. Mm, both teams are now. Uh, Going at it a little bit, which is great to see. Uh, puck and the referee there yelling to get that loose, get it loose. It's tied up right in front of the Northwest Catholic bench. A couple of coaches there yelling at the players to move the puck, and here comes Simsbury. And there's Bulger. Gets it to, to the blue line, taken up by Northwest. Northwest Catholic with a nice stop. Good blocker save there by Loveland. Back over in the corner to Jack back and Saul. Puck kind of dance around. They need to get that out and f away from in front of Loveland. Back and Saul now over to Patrick Mahar. Mahar takes a big hit by Evan Curtis. And here comes Back and Saul. He's bent over a little bit. I think he's hurt. Back and Saul's going off. They're going to do a line change. Puck taken behind the net by uh, Finn Boyd. Finn passes it up to Colin Horn who tries to get it to the center to uh, Evan Curtis. And back over now by Bobby Lachance. Here comes Lachance, broken up in front by Simsbury. Simsbury doing a great job breaking the puck up in front of Loveland. There's a nice uh, behind-the-back pass that just didn't get enough over to Aaron Livingston. Assistant captain there, Patrick Mahar, with a nice solid check. Puck gets by Tommy Humphreys. And here in breaks Cam Barron. Barron with a quick shot wide of the net. A lovely, uh, nice angle on that one there, Jake. Yeah. Got to be smart here. We're in. We're within two minutes of the Inside end. Inside two minutes. Here. I was so just going to say that, CeCe. Jack Gonzalez gets the puck up. Oh, it's right in the front. Bouncing around and back. Uh, looks like it's a little chaotic. Simsbury does come up with it. It looks like they're going to ice it. I do. Referee's got his uh, hand up. McCormick in there. Cam Barone, he tries to, he just falls over and they have a little chit chat. They, I, could, they could be talking about anything because these guys, <laughs> you know, they all grew up playing hockey together. That's a good point. Forever. So yeah. that, baseball, how many times have you had Simsbury guys, Northwest guys right. playing on the same team in the summer? And Absolutely. then they're beating each other up in the winter. <laughs> yeah. I remember the uh, C Anthony C. Olin against uh, Georgie Mateo battles back in the day. That's right? right. Exactly. And then they'd be on the same baseball team in the summer. Right. right? That, that's so, how it goes. Kind, kind of also it. going back to families, the, the Eustace is Kevin Eustace was on Northwest Catholic and Kurt was on that's Sinsbury. Right. That's so. right. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, there's a lot of history between these two teams. And the mom was was the principal at the high school, and the dad was the, was, <laughs> right. was, was, was right. Catholic. Was over uh, at Northwest Catholic. Yeah, there, you're right. Which there's was a awesome. Lot of it. That's great. We are under 50 seconds now to go in the period in Northwest <laughs> Catholic, keeping the puck in, trying to get a uh, last uh, rush here on that. Griffin Marquis now in the corner. Takes the puck, a little floater. And it looks like this might be an icing. So with 36 seconds to go in the first period, we're going to get a line change. Jonathan Wang, uh, Reed Bolger, and it looks like Livingston, Anastasio, and Quinn Hegney will be out there with Cam Barone, Jack Gonzalez, Cullen Horn, Jack McDermott, 
and Corey Alissi. And face off one by Northwest Catholic in by Barone. Uh, trying to get it in the net. They know they only got a few seconds here before the horn sounds. Um, here's a great move and a oh shot right over the head of Loveland as he ducked. Um, and again, there comes uh, Northwest keeping the puck in. Simsbury trying to reverse course and are able to do so. Here's a nice pass out to Alyssi. He's got 10 seconds. He tries to get the pass over to sat there number two, Luke Melanson, and was not able to do so. Simsbury's going to take it. The horn sounds, and we are at the end of the first period where Simsbury Trojans on a goal by Drew Anastasio on a beautiful pass out front by Quinn Higney lead the New York, New York, Northwest Catholic Lions one to nothing. Um, guys, real quick before we go to break, CC, your thoughts on our first period. You know, I thought Simsbury uh, started off a little bit slower than they kind of got the cadence where they needed to. They cycled the puck. They uh, they were they were really good to follow up on uh, the offensive the offensive checking that they needed to do to to create opportunities. And you know, again, their their top line puts it in. Um, they're playing with the lead. Yep. This is this is. One Took of advantage of a mistake, which you just said. Mistake-free right. hockey, right? Yeah, so, I mean, and, and the nice part is, versus the last couple games, they've gone into the locker room in the last couple games being behind. Right. right, Or tied. Or tied, tied yep. right? So, But it's a little bit of a different different situation for them now, yep. right? So now, you know, again, they know this is a team that they know. Right. These, these guys play in the same building. Right. They're one rink over. Yep. They all know each other. Um, yeah. You're not going to surprise anybody. They know the guys who are who are going to be the playmakers, and they know the guys who are grinding it out. Yep. Um, and we are, you know, we're going to be treated to a fantastic game today. One of the things I like, Jake, and I'll have you comment on the period is no penalties, buddy. No. So penalty free hockey clean. in the um, first 15 minutes. What was your take on uh, goaltending and? Say it's, I had the same thoughts as uh, CC in regards to Simsbury. Simsbury kind of got off to to a little slow, sluggish start, and then they kind of got the wheels turning. They cashed in on on a mistake and behind uh, the the uh, North sure, West, Northwest yep. Catholic net. Um, as as CC and you just pointed out, the Trojans the last few games have been going into the first intermission being down or being tied. This time they're up by one, leading one nothing. So. Um, that's nice to see for Simsbury. Uh, Justin Loveland made some nice saves, and Patrick Schulitz also had some nice saves as well. Well, I can tell you what. We're a long way from being over, and we'll be back at it for second period action just after this. And here we go for the start of the second period. Simsbury again. The Trojans up one to nothing here. Um, as here comes uh, Livingston. Looking for Perlman. Perlman right back over to McCormick and right through to Crease. McCormick shoves the puck back in. We got a clean sheet of ice here. Griffin Marquis and Connor Wilhelm on D. And down breaks Connor Melanson. Connor to backs up. And backward backhanded pass there in the corner to Bobby Lachance. This is a great line that Connor Melanson, Bobby Lachance. Here's Connor. Wow. Oh, tries to go top shelf. Top shelf. Far corner. Taken up over there by Ethan Porter. Uh, great save by Loveland. And Marquis trying to keep Bobby Lachance out of in front of Justin. So some good action here in front of us. Nicholas got that on camera, which is terrific. Sorry for the uh, late start. They started the they quickly started the second period. So we have a face off to the left side of Loveland. Looks like Michael Zapp. Vaughn we'll Marecki. Vaughn Marecki is Vaughn Marecki. Uh, very nice. So Vaughn Marecki is the uh, backup goalie for Simsbury. There's a nice shot in. Oh, tipped in there, too, by Jack McDermott. Found his way through to be in front of Loveland, and Loveland stood his ground. Great, uh, great save. So Elijah Livingston on the left. We've got Aiden Driscoll and uh, Zapp taking the face off. Face off won by Northwest Catholic. And runs around and Driscoll chases the puck out as he chases Finn Boyd for Northwest. And here comes the Lions. Can nice pass. Tape to tape there. Shot high over the stick side of Loveland. And now breaks Driscoll. 
If he's hurries, he's got a two-on-one. There's Driscoll. Nice shot. Great save there by Patrick Schulitz. And Simsbury and Northwest will take the time to uh, change up. So a lot of action here quick. We're only uh, not yet two minutes into the second period. We've had a couple of face-offs. We're deep in the zone right now of the, uh, of the Lions. Looks like the face-off will be uh, Jonathan Hong. Jonathan wins the face-off. Back to Anastasio. I'm sorry, that's Quinn Hegney. That's not nine, that's eight. So Hegney ties the puck up in the corner, broken out by Northwest, and outbreak the Lions. Down the right side is Connor Melanson with a nice shot on that, a great save by Loveland. Picked up again, Reed Bulger with the uh, stop. Ethan Porter back in the corner to Bobby Lachance. Bulger takes him off the puck. Hegney now up. It's tapped there by Northwest Defense. Anastasio loses his stick. He's still in the zone. Puck bouncing around there in the uh, reverse course here. And outbreak the Lions. Wilhelm gets the puck away from who I believe is Porter over there. And here comes Anastasio. He's got Quagney on the, Quagney on the right side. No, oh, tries to center the puck again. That was one of those chances, CC. We talked about it during the break. Take the shot on net. They got to get some more pucks to the net. I think, uh, you know, Northwest at some point is going to score here. They just had too many chances. And here well, comes Hagney. They're definitely playing. Uh, Northwest was playing with a little bit of a sense of urgency there. They came out on fire in the, at the beginning of the period. So they are getting shots on net. That's I for agree. Sure. There's a bouncing puck right back over and it. It's the off the net post there. comes off the mooring. And we will have a face off to the right of Loveland. But um yeah, I agree. So uh so Vaughn Marecki, nice investigative work by Jake Oscar. And I have to give credit to your wife, Suzanne really? Sinicori, who okay. uh, who is working the table downstairs. Yeah, there are COVID restrictions require a Simsbury High School employee to check you in and out. Uh, I believe the home team has allowed uh, two parents or two people per game. Here's a pass right out in front. Great save by Schulitz. The puck is bouncing around. It's, it's loose. Uh, and they do tie it up, and the referees blow the whistle. Good work there by the Trojans out in front of the net. If the, if the official loses sight of the puck, <coughs> they... They are, they are instructed to blow the whistle. So Northwest now doing a quick change as Owen uh, McCary comes in for what looks like number 15, I think, Gavin Burke. And Simsbury takes a puck behind the net out in front. Back to Griffin Marquis. Nice pass over to Livingston. Livingston shot on net, and it's deflected behind the net. Uh, and there's Aaron Livingston. So we got Elijah and Aaron out there. Elijah on point here. Aaron up front with Perlman. There's uh, Elijah Livingston in. Taken back there by Corey Alissi. Back over and out of the zone. Taken there by Griffin Marquis and chased by Wilberk. Patrick Mahar now and Livingston now back behind Loveland. The puck comes over behind down below us. Reverses over back to Griffin uh, Marquis. Marquis being chased at uh, by Jack McDermott. They're trying to get the puck out. There's Tommy Humphreys coming back in to help out. Can't get the puck out. There goes Livingston. A little bit of a head of steam. He just bounces it off the glass. Good play. Behind Mahar, but uh, here come the Lions. And they're just here comes Connor Melanson. Melanson now behind Simsbury's net, looking to pass something out in front. Gives a backhanded pass to Bobby Lachance. Turns around and tries to fire out to Camberone. It goes all the way down the length of the ice. Ten minutes and 20 seconds to go. Oh! Bouncing puck just over the stick of Tommy Humphreys. That would have been a nice little breakaway. There's a nice behind-the-back pass. Again, uh, trying to get something out. Patrick Mahar just shoves it back out of the zone. Pass by Ethan Porter. This is Northwest Catholic's top line here. And here come the Lions. Once again, Bobby Lachance behind the net to Ethan Porter. Porter leaves it there, picked up by Tommy Humphreys. 
Humphreys looks up trying to get a pass out to Patrick Mahar. It's broken up at center ice there. Nice play by Jack Gonzalez. And then right out in front of Reed Bolger. Bolger trying to get it out. This is trouble. Unable to do so. Number nine there. Who's that? Sean Trombley. A beautiful save by Justin Loveland. There goes Tommy Humphreys with a great move oh. around Cambrone and then just gets lit up. Wow. By Jack McDermott. He's down. He's hurting. He right. is down. I think it was a, a combination of um, he was trying to make a move around. It looked like he got caught under his chin. And uh, I mentioned Jack McDermott, number five for the Northwest Catholic Lions, is one of the bigger boys out there. And nothing malicious there by any means. But, um, you know, in the hockey world, we call that, uh, you know, waking the cobwebs up a little bit, right? I've had my bell rung, my he, cobwebs, <laughs> you know, you name it. He stood him up, and then he, and he, he looked like he bounced into the boards, too. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, um, that was a tough one. Um, that's going to leave probably a, a mark. I I wish I could say I've never had that happen to me, but I uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's par for the course when you play hockey, I guess. You know, at some point you're going to get you're going to take one when you're off balance. All right, here comes a puck in, and it just goes wide of Justin. He lets it go for an icing. It's picked up there by uh, Jonathan. And we'll go back down. It looks like it'll be to the right side, right circle there to Patrick Schulitz, the goalie who's played really well for Northwest Catholic today, Jake. He's, yeah. You know, it was that one tough goal that he gave up. Again, no penalties. I hate to jinx these two teams, but, you know, they call it the announcer's jinx. But, you know, we've seen some clean hockey, some yeah. hard hits, but clean hockey. Quinn Hagney now taking this face off. Anastasio on the right. Uh, Quinn wins it. it. Looks like it's gone over to Livingston. Uh, broken out by Northwest Catholic. And just getting to his Reed Bulger as he was chased there by Will Burke. Uh, Drew th dumps the puck in. Now taken back behind the net there is uh, Owen McCary. Uh, Simsbury. Oh, who's that? Is that Drew trying to get the puck out? I think that was. No, that was Livingston. Trying to get the puck out in front to uh, to Drew. Bulger pinches in at D. Goes back to Jonathan. Jonathan over now to Anastasio, who is getting up a little ahead of steam. Coming through center ice. Here he comes. He's going down the right-hand side into the corner. Defenseman falls down. He's got an opportunity. He twists and turns, throws it out front, trying to catch Quinn. And just not able to do so. And Northwest Catholic has to ice. So we got an icing with eight minutes and five seconds left to go in the second period. The Simsbury Trojans are still ahead of the uh, Lions, one to nothing on a goal by Drew Anastasio in the first period on a feed from Quinn Hagney. We got Livingston down there. <clears throat> Aaron Livingston taking the face off. He wins the face off back to Marquis. Marquis a shot on net through a screen. Now, that's what I'm talking about right there, CC. Get some pucks on that. That's it. That's a key right there. And put bodies in front as well. Yeah, right. that was great. Just chip one in close That by. was great. McCormick now giving some instructions to Marquis. Um, it's one again by Livingston. Perlman shoves it around. Wilhelm goes in deep. <clears throat> Livingston takes the point as Wilhelm is in. They do a little uh, change up. There's a pass back behind the net comes back out to Simsbury they're keeping it deep on Northwest Catholic's uh, zone McCormick oh Ryan just lost an edge on the skate went into the boards there's Perlman keeping the puck in the offensive zone and again we're going to have another icing so uh, we get a break in the action again second period here at the International Skating Center Simsbury the home of both the Simsbury Trojans and Northwest Catholic Lions. As uh, CC mentioned earlier, they, they play on rinks that are side by each here in this uh, beautiful uh, dual arena here in Simsbury. It looks like now we've got uh, a different lineup out there for, uh, for Simsbury. New line. It's a zap line. Um, nice. They Point forced blank. it. Yeah, forced it right on net. And again, Patrick Schulitz is coming up big. 
So, fellas, in the two games we've done, we've seen this is our sixth period, and we've only seen four goals total. Well, not a lot of goal scoring action in the two games we've done, but nonetheless, some uh, decent hockey. Well, that's been the mo for the year so far. They're just trying to they're trying to figure out outside of the the one uh, game against Glastonbury where they right they, they exploded. They lit, they lit the lamp. Almost had to buy a new uh, a <laughs> nine new <light> times, <laughs> nine <laughs> times. But besides that game, you know, it's two or three goals a game. You know, yeah. on, on average, um, which means you have to play good hockey if you're going to win. That's right, right? If you're, if you're, you know, I mean, and that's the that's the one thing. Um, even in the close games, it's it's not as if there's been uh, a lot of ties for them. They're uh, they're either. Winning a close game or losing a close game. So That's right. I think we're going to see this Northwest Catholic line. A bunch there is a nice shot in. A great save. Oh, wow. again, the puck bounced out. It, it, it was uh, loose there by Loveland. And um, as Jake had mentioned, once the referee loses sight of the puck, he blows the whistle. In that case, he blew the whistle. Play is halted. Yep. All right. So we got Reed Bolger over here behind us. Hagney. Wilhelm, Anastasio. Oh, oh, geez, that was a tip just to the left of uh, Loveland. Wilhelm now. Puck taken away there by Corey Alissi. Nice play by him, but take it right back by Wilhelm. A beautiful pass up to Drew. Oh, nice poke check there. Uh, that was a great play. It looks like the Lions are firing from everywhere. Not, <laughs> it does. They're well, all over the place, aren't well, they? Right, but they're not looking for the perfect play. They're just trying to get the puck on net. So. Yeah. Credit to them that they're trying to get these these opportunities and look for a little bit of a juicy rebound or someone not to to pick up a man in front and try to even the score here. And if it wasn't for J.J. Hurley about two minutes ago, Drew Anastasia would have walked in untouched. There's a great save there by Livingston. Tries to get a puck in. D.B. Des Drew takes it away. Back behind the net. I believe that's Hagney. And I'll break the Lions. A nice pass behind the Sims Ray D, but broken up there by Griffin Marquis. And there goes Marquis. Marquis tries to get it up, bounces off the skate of Quinn Hagney. There's a beautiful rink pass to here goes Connor Melanson again. There's oh. a nice shot in on net. Connor's a good skater. He's you a real good that. skater. Keeps his head up, keeps the puck on his stick. He does a really good job. There goes Drew again into the corner with Bobby Lachance. Uh, that that Connor Melanson Ethan Porter line is getting a lot of uh, a lot of time here in the second period. Sim Simsbury is going to have to get somebody in the crease and just put a body in the crease, distract the goalie, look for the chip in. Here we go. There's a quick shot through a crowd by Livingston. So they are getting some, as Jake said, they're getting some bodies to the net, and they are getting some more pucks on net. Well, that's the key. You're gonna have to. You have to get in that crease and make the goalie uncomfortable. Um, and look who it is again. We used to say this all the time about Anthony Ciolan line, right? They're out there again. There's a Connor Melanson, Ethan Porter, and uh, Bobby Lachance. They seem to get a lot of ice time. Right now, we've got uh, Livingston, the five, six, seven line. And we got that's right, Perlman, Livingston, and McCormick. With uh, Livingston on D. There's another win. Oh, great quick shot by Livingston in on that. Nice save by Schulitz. Aaron's been winning a lot of key faceoffs tonight. Uh-oh. Here comes. This could be rough. Coming down the right-hand side. Quick. Oh, nice stick check by, uh, that was Aaron Livingston. Uh, it goes back to the defense. We're broken up there by Simsbury. Kept in by Northwest. McDermott unable to get the uh, puck uh, controlled on a stick. Back around to Griffin Marquis. Good play. Over to Perlman. Here comes Perlman into Livingston. <coughs> Livingston gets stood up a little bit over there by Finn Boyd. Northwest takes the puck back, and here they come. Nice pass over there to uh, Corey Alissi, but he loses it. Tried to backpack. McCormick coming back up the left-hand side, just dumps it in. They need to change. They're tired. Out comes Jack Beckinsall. I think this is the back and saw. Let's see who's in there for Humphreys. I don't think he's back. Back Mahar. It looks like uh, Daniel Toothaker is in for Tommy Humphreys. So Daniel is getting some ice time here. 
Outbreak Northwest Catholic. Here's a nice turn by Beckinsall. Good move. Here he comes. Beckinsall's a freshman right around the D. Shot saved by Schulitz. Back into the corner for Patrick Mahar. There goes Toothaker. Toothaker, beautiful pass out to Patrick, who backhands it wide. And now over into the corner. There's a spin and turn shot, and Northwest said, I've seen enough of this. I'm just going to ice it. Regroup. S three minutes left to go. It's actually two minutes and 57 seconds in the second period as the benches kind of intertwine as they're changing lines. So uh, a little bit of a different uh, twist to the second period than the first period, Jake. Yeah, and I also I, – that was a great, great hustle by Aaron Livingston to break up that, uh, yes. break up that scoring opportunity right at the top of the right circle. A little bit ago. And also, Aaron, as I mentioned before, Aaron's been winning a lot of, lot of face-offs tonight. There was a nice uh, poke check around Jonathan uh, Wang. It was Ethan Porter. And there's that line again. The uh, Bobby Lachance, Connor Melanson. This is clearly one of their better lines, but it's phase. There goes Drew Anastasio. He uh, takes it through center ice. Poke check there by the Lions D. They knocked Drew into the corner. And back out in front. Here's a quick shot by Hagney. Nice save by Patrick. Northwest trying to reverse action. Get it over the other side of the rink. Create some space. There's a nice breakup pass by uh, Jonathan. Taken over by Quinn Hagney. Again, an another nice poke check there by Bobby Lachance. Puck stuck in the corner by the Zamboni door. And out breaks the Lions. Stick check there by Simsbury. A uh, knuckle puck in by Jonathan to Schulitz. And they're trying to get the puck uh, wow. into. And that was on as McDermott chases right in. Loveland makes a nice center field catch. Can of corn, as they call it in baseball, CC. Well, I don't know. He didn't catch it with two hands, so he probably got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Coach said <laughs> Corey wouldn't have, have liked that, right? With two hands. <laughs> Patrick Mahar now taking the face off. One by Mahar, but back to Northwest Catholic, who was right there. In over. <clears throat> Daniel Toothaker. And Reed Bulger trying to stay in front to make sure he's home so nobody gets an easy shot in front. There's Beckinsall. Beckinsall reverses back over to Livingston, who gets it up to Toothacre, who can't get the puck in his head. Oh, great play by oh, Reed Bulger. Fantastic. So the, the faceoff will stay in the zone, but um, great play right there by Reed. Did he not turn around and poke that? It could have been a different story. Well, you know where we are right now. Yes. Under Under two minutes. minutes. Under two minutes. Can't be making any mistakes. Got to make sure when you have the puck, you skate it out of the zone or pass it out of the zone Got quick. It. Don't leave it behind. Got Livingston wins another faceoff, Jake. Got to preserve that lead, CC. Over to Perlman. Perlman well, now up to Livingston. Back behind Camberon. Livingston looking in front. Oh, my God. It looked like Schulitz. Look behind him there for a second. Uh, Simsbury D pinches in, uh, and here goes. Here's the Connor Melanson line again. They're out there. Livingston's got some space. He's trying to take it back around uh, the D over there. I think that was Jack Gonzalez. Simsbury keeping it in. They just need to get a uh, puck on net. It's kind of bouncing around in front there, and oh, my Lord, they had a little mini breakaway there. Great save. Fantastic but, save by Patrick Schulis. We've seen some top goaltending in the state, huh, in our last two games? Yeah, you definitely, this is the time to expand the lead. You don't want to hold it at this point. Right. Because that next right. goal, you know, 2-0 versus 1-1 is a big deal right now. I mean, these goalies both, we've seen Justin twice. We saw Danny Pauling, I think, for yep. Farmington Danny Valley. Pauling. He yep. stood on his head. Had a great game in a tough, tough loss. 37 seconds left to go now in the period. Hagney wins the face off, but it's controlled by Northwest Catholic. They try to break it out. Back is Jonathan. Wang back up to Drew. Anastasio back up to Hagney. And Hagney's taken off the puck by three Lions. <clears throat> here comes uh, Northwest. One last rush here. They get the puck in the center. Oh, it's back out. Quick shot. Oh, just to the right side of Loveland. Jonathan Wang 
Trying to get the puck out. Can't. It's into Cam Barone. Griffin Marquis with a nice stop there. Puck is bouncing around. It's getting very chaotic. Back to the point. Oh, a tip and a beautiful play. save by Loveland with about a second on the clock as the horn sounds. So no scoring in the second period as we finish the second period as we started the second period with the Trojans up one to nothing again on a goal by Drew Anastasio in the first period off a feed from Quinn Hegney. Um and that's where we ended here. Uh, CC, quick, quick uh, spot in the second period. What'd you see? I think Northwest came out fast at the beginning of the period. Put a lot of pressure on Simsbury. Um, Simsbury, you know, kind of righted the ship a little bit. Took the the pressure, turned it around. Had some good opportunities to score. Um, they're they're chipping away. They're they're really, you know, th- I think they're really trying to just continue to just fire things on the net and hope for a good rebound. Um, it's not as if they're getting odd man rushes. Um, Northwest is keeping their defense back, so yeah. you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna sneak in on them and get a breakaway um, to this point. Um, and so Simsbury kind of has to kind of watch the same thing, make sure they don't give up any odd man rushes, and continue to, to play uh, well in the defensive zone and and make sure they support their goaltender. Um, Again, Trojan goaltending has been fantastic. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Jake, again, no penalties. No. Man, it's almost like uh, we're saying the same thing we said in the end of the first period. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a clean game. Um, the goaltending has been, has been really, really, really well on both sides with Patrick Schulitz and Justin Loveland making some incredible saves to keep both of their respective teams in uh, in the game, but 30 minutes are in the books. We've got 15 more to go, and we shall see what happens. It looked like Coach Danny Melanson sh- has shortened his bench. It looked like the Connor Melanson, Ethan Porter, Bobby Lachance line is getting uh, some significant ice time Absolutely. in an effort to try to tie this game up. So we were head into the end of the second period again with the Trojans leading one to nothing, and we'll be back for third period action right after this. Right now. All right, team, we are back for third period action as uh, Simsbury awaits what I'm assuming will be the Connor Melance and Ethan Porter and Bobby Lachance line. Uh, and I am wrong. It looks like it's uh, Cam Barone. It's going to be Cam Barone in with Bobby Lachance and Connor. And there's the faceoff, one by Simsbury. Back in. Luke Melanson going back behind the net. Broken up there. There's Anastasio trying to get away from Camberone. Goes deep. Pushed over a little bit there by Connor Melanson. Puck sends out into the center ice. There goes Connor Wilhelm taking the puck up the right side. Puck gets stuck in some water on the ice there. And out breaks the Lions. Back over for uh, Drew. And then again, trying to get the puck in. It looks like it's going to be a quick icing here. And we'll be sending uh, the puck back down into the Simsbury zone for a face-off, which I believe will be to the left side of Justin Loveland. So a slow start here to the third period as the Trojans still lead one to nothing. Jack McDermott down there for Northwest Catholic to take the face-off with Simsbury in the Simsbury zone. It's won by McDermott. Back to Gavin Burke. Shoved back in around near the Zamboni doors. Daniel Toothaker trying to get it out. Quick shot in on net by J.J. Hurley. Beautiful save by Loveland. A little bit of uh, extracurricular activity going on in front of the net, which is always good to see. The boys are alive and well. Working hard. Everybody very competitive. McDermott ready now to take another face off. I think he's got J.J. Hurley there on the right. It's back to Hurley. Hurley takes a, another shot, gets deflected over into the corner. Gavin Burke's over there. He grabs it, throws it behind the net. Seems like trying to get the puck out of the zone and is able to do so. Back over to Burke. Burke back skating, skating backwards, gets the puck up to number six, Corey Alissi. And back to the Simsbury defense. Nice quick pass out in front there. Just out of the reach. 
of Aaron Livingston. Livingston now puck back behind the net. Wow. Oh, two quick shots by Alex Perlman, and it just goes wide. There's McCormick. McCormick looking head up, back out in front to Livingston. Livingston whiffs on it and then gets hit by McDermott. No penalty there. That looked like a little bit of an interference. Perlman throws the puck back out in front, but it's broken up there by uh, Finn Boyd. And Finn gets the puck back, can't control it, loses it off his stick. Back over to Simsbury def defense. I think that's Jonathan Wang back there. And then here comes Simsbury, trying to get the puck out, not able to do so. Jack Gonzalez throws the puck in on net. Back behind uh, Loveland. Now breaks Simsbury dangerously out in front. Uh, kept in the zone by Northwest Catholic. Nice rink-wide pass. Back in behind Connor Melanson. Melanson leaves the puck there for his left winger. Outbreaks Beckinsall. Here comes the Trojans down the left-hand side. Beckinsall loses the puck off, tries to get it over to Toothacre, and it's broken up there by Cam Barone. Barone down the left side. Broken up there by Bolger. Bolger back into the corner with Barone. And Connor Melanson goes in and says, no, I'll take the puck from you guys. Breaks right out in front. Tries to get a backhand on Loveline. Squeaks out. Oh, my Lord. Just through the crease. Great shot there by Finn Boyd. Simsbury in a little bit of trouble here. Need to get this puck out. This is a young line. This is the Beckinsaw Toothacre uh, line. And they're up against Northwest Catholic's number one line right now. Uh, in breaks a, uh, Livingston, and here comes the Trojans. Back out in the center, here comes Connor Wilhelm. Right down, takes a shot on net. It gets tipped, and his knuckle pucked. Livingston back in there. Wilhelm takes the puck back out, trying to get it out in front. Oh, wow. and it does, and there's Livingston. It bounced right to him, and the the exact guy you want in front with a puck bouncing around is Drew Anastasio, and he was right there waiting. To pounce, CC. Yeah, he clipped it in. He got it back towards the, the goalie. And uh, just couldn't get it through. So here's Hegney and Livingston and Anastasio line. They're up against Jack McDermott. Back to Simsbury Point. is broken up there. And down. Here goes. Breaks. Ethan Porter. Porter down. Tries to go high on the blocker side. Gets the puck back out to McDermott, who takes a shot wide. And there's Griffin Marquis and Livingston back behind the net. It gets caught a little bit over there. That's a funky door that... Uh, Zamboni corner, as we call it. Uh, and there's a nice little flip out. Doesn't go far enough, and it's back. J.J. Hurley oh. takes it, and he loses it to Anastasio. He's in alone. Oh, and there's going to be a penalty on J.J. Hurley as he hooked Drew Anastasio. I wonder, is this a penalty shot? No, it is not. Jake, I'm going to get your professional opinion. No, it is not, it says is not. Jake. Okay. No. Mm -mm. All right, I'm not going to argue with Jakester. It looked like it might have been... Um, but I agree. I don't think he was completely breaking free. Puck was bouncing around on the top of his stick there. Got our first penalty of the game, Cinny. Unbelievable. 10 right? We've gone almost yeah. five minutes into the third period, so we've been 35 minutes without one, and here's ones. Trojans win the uh, faceoff. Back behind the net. It's Beckinsall, and he's on with uh, Griffin Marquis. Northwest Catholic is very aggressive on the penalty kill. Unbelievable there. That was great. Bobby Lachance. Northwest has some good skaters and outbreaks. Loveland, that's a nice, you, you know, the goalies are uh, great getting a puck out to their offensive team there. There's Anastasio. He's looking around. He's uh, dancing with his head up. Oh, Almost. what a great pass into Beckinsall, who tried to tip it in on the side of the net. And Patrick Schulet said, not in my house. Not there. Not now. Great save by Patrick. I've been waiting to use that Dikembe Mutombo CC. And <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that Geico commercial is ringing through my head after watching all that NCAA basketball. Here's Trojans with a faceoff win. They're still on the power play, Jake. Back to Perlman. Perlman over to McCormick. McCormick back to Perlman behind the net. Head up. Oh, he tries a wraparound. Stay right there by Livingston. Not a bad play there by Perlman. Trying to catch him off guard. There's a nice shot. One-timer in. Saved by Schulitz. Perlman shoves the puck behind the net. 
Gets, back there for Livingston. Get someone in the crease, boys. Elijah Livingston and Aaron Livingston going toe-to-toe. And there's a little bit of a shove there to uh, Owen McCary. I did see Griffin McCary walking around on, I believe, crutches. So I think his brother is uh, down and hurt here. Here comes Simsbury. Ryan McCormick on the side. Again, very aggressive play with 34 seconds left in this power play. They probably got one more rush. Here's Livingston. Brings it in on the left side behind the net. All three Simsbury offensive players behind the net. They're trying to get it out top. There's a pass right out to oh, nice does save. not leave or left a really quick rebound, but that was a Jonathan Wang. And I apologize to Jonathan's family, as I know I probably uh, do not pronounce his last name correctly. Um, so yep. Jonathan and Bradley before Jonathan. I think Brad Wright was uh, his brother on the team last year. Here's Simsbury now. We got Quinn Hegney. He wins the faceoff over in the corner. Still on a power play here. Trying to get the puck out. He takes a wrist or a shot. Anastasio looking up. Bolgera trying to tip it in. There's Beckinsall. Beckinsall trying to get it over to Quinn. Beckinsall and Quinn in the corner. Time's rushing out. Penalty has elapsed. So Northwest Catholic has killed off the penalty. There's a puck right out in front. Beckinsall. <laughs> gets it over into the corner. Back now behind the net. Reversing course. Anastasio over behind. Northwest Catholic again. They, we are five on five. There is no penalty here. <coughs> Simsbury trying to get the puck out in front. And it jumped over the stick of Quinn Hagney. And this will not be icing. Griffin Marquis loses it to Cam Barone. Barone out in front. Just unable to be held by Connor Melanson. <coughs> he was right out in front with a shot. And now the uh, a lazy little shot in on the right-hand side of Loveland who puts a glove on it. we got to stop and play with eight minutes and six seconds to go in the third period, and the Trojans still leading one to nothing. So interesting third period thus far. So we've had that one penalty. Simsray right couldn't capitalize on it. <clears throat> Outbreaks the Trojans. And seems very trying desperately to get the puck deep into the Northwest Catholic zone. They just can't get through center ice. Northwest Catholic's doing a great job um, creating no space for the Trojans to break out. Well, the Trojans are in a good spot from the standpoint of controlling the game and controlling the tempo. The, the, they really just need to make sure they don't, they don't help them. At yeah. this point, they don't want to make a they don't want to make a mistake. Uh, oh, and as CC says that, now I saw that coming from. So, number twenty two, Finn Boyd, as a puck bounced back to him at the left defensive point, took a shot in. Um, uh, Justin had no chance but to leave that rebound because he had to get a pad on it, and it bounced right to I believe that was number six, Corey Alissi. So I would say that that is a Finn Boy to Corey Alissi goal at the seven minute thirty second mark of the third period. Exactly so halfway. Exactly. We are halfway. tied at one. And we were just you know CC was just saying that we were just we were right there as Perlman gets sent into the boards. McCormick behind. They're trying to do that back pass out in front, hoping that someone's there in the middle. Puck just goes through Perlman's skates, and it outbreaks Ethan Porter. <coughs> I apologize here. I got a little frog in my throat. <coughs> this puck will come all the way down for yep, an icing. It looks like we're going to get icing here. 7.01 to go in this third period. Game tied now at one. So Simsbury held the lead for about a period and a half before Northwest Catholic tied it up. It looks as though the momentum right now rests with the Lions. Yeah, it's that you can definitely see that it's changed. Yeah, the ice is definitely tilted. And Simsbury's got to come back a little bit here. There's Beckinsall down the right-hand side. Patrick Mahar. It's a good job to get that out to back and saw. We need to have the puck bounce our way. There's Daniel Toothaker. So Tommy Humphreys must have taken one in the... Uh, we knew he took one in the chin. But 
Yeah, he has not returned. No. There's Connor Melanson behind. He stops on a dime. Gets checked there by Jonathan Wang. Taken back off the ice. He's waiting for the puck out in front. And Loveland just holds on. <coughs> Time for a line change. It looks like Michael Zapp is coming on with Aiden Driscoll. Griffin Marquis. CC, what are you seeing down there? I'm seeing too many opportunities, uh, too many shots on goal right now with, uh, with Northwest continuing to put a lot of pressure on. A face-off one by Simsbury there. Zapp goes into the corner. Marquis chases in the corner. Uh, Livingston tried to kick it over to the uh, corner and it was not got right underneath the skate there's Cambarone behind the net tries to get it right out in front it does so you better move 21 out of the way yeah Bobby Lachance is setting up camp right there and you know it's a it's a slippery slope because I you know seeing the referees have given Simsbury the chance on a penalty and it was a legit penalty but I think if you take the opportunity to clear somebody out right there, you run the risk of getting called for a uh, minor. Well, especially especially if you cross check, especially if you right. especially if you cross check, then that then they're going to put the arm up. There's well, a, I think you can still move them. I mean, you know, all right, you, you can. You no got, doubt. You have, yes. to, you have to man your position on defense there, yeah. right? And just, right, and put a hip in them. You know, you just can't let them get just, free, or tie up his stick, one or the other. But you can't let the can't let a kid. You can't let him set up shop. Yeah, he's you know he's exactly. looking like he's six five out there yeah. standing in front of the in front of your goalie, two feet away. As Owen McCary, and uh, puck's gonna be taken by Ryan McCormick right in on net. That was a great shot, and it's over the skate, but hit over the stick, but hits the skate of Aaron Livingston back into the corner. McCary whoa, trying whoa, to get whoa. the that was a blind backward pass that almost made its way to Livingston. There's Perlman. That was dangerous right there. Perlman behind, and he's getting accosted there by number 22, Finn Boyd. But he comes up with the puck only to give it up to Ethan Porter, and here comes Porter. So Porter looking for Jack McDermott. He's going to take the opportunity to just shove the puck, dump, and run. They're going to do a line change. <laughs> Anastasio line back out for Simsbury. Trying to get the puck up to Drew. Jack Gonzalez for Northwest Catholic is not having it. But there's Livingston working real hard behind the net. He's got to he's got to keep skating there. Let him pull him down. Yeah, there's he's draped all over him. Hegney takes a, a hip check by Connor Melanson, and Melanson comes out with the puck, a only good to play be right there. taken away by uh, Livingston. And Hegney trying to do a little. Uh, That's close. That was close to a penalty. I think they're going to swallow the whistle here for the last few minutes of the period. Uh, Anastasio waiting for that puck to bounce out. Referee right there looking at it. Hegney comes out with it, trying to pass it out in front. It's broken up there. Jack Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And out to Connor Melanson. Melanson right to the center. Looking but taking a shot in. It's broken out by Simsbury. Get wide now. And here comes Anastasio. Anastasio with Hegney. Trying to get the puck in deep. Oh! Good play. Great play there by number 21, Bobby Lachance. Yeah, stop. We got play. a high stick. High stick, yep. Okay. We got a high stick. So Patrick Schulitz with a nice save right below us. We got three minutes and 44 seconds left to go in regulation time. This could be our second overtime game in as many games, Jake. Yeah. Said. Huh? Us and uh, overtime. Well, we hope that it uh, is a result like it was for the Farmington Valley team. There's a nice quick shot and save by Justin Loveland right off the faceoff. Those are tough. Real quick. Good camera work there by Nick. Nick Sinicori. He's got that all going on. Owen McCary there in your picture. Faceoff one. By look like Northwest Catholic, but they couldn't control it over to Beckinsall. Beckinsall trying to get it out of the zone. Not able to do so. Back behind the net is Reed Bulger. Bulger looking for his Simsbury winger. And out comes Aiden Driscoll. I think that's, no, Daniel Toothaker. Toothaker trying to get the puck over into the center. And Patrick Mahar. Back and Saul, Toothaker, and Mahar. So this is a... Uh, oh, 
Oh, oh! One senior, two freshman line. <clears throat> Good try there by Patrick Marr. Nice play. A little bit of a uh, Owen McCary coming high with the hands. Yep, the and elbows are coming up high now. Yep, and then there's 22, Finn Boyd. Finn trying to get it out in center. He does so. <coughs> Jack McDermott. And do we have an offsides or do we have a penalty? Yeah, I think we're going to get a penalty. We got a penalty. <coughs> got a roughing. Roughing call. We got a roughing call. I have a frog that has decided to set up shop in my throat. <coughs> Which is not happy when you're trying to announce a game. Thank you, CC. Well, you got to take over the take over the reins here for a minute. <laughs> you certainly don't want to take a penalty with less than three minutes left in the game, and uh, give Simsbury the big advantage here. Taking it back to the top to Anastasio down low to the left circle. Bolger bounces it behind the backboards. Two guys out <coughs> in front, which was great to start. Stands right, back, back. At the point down low to Hegney. Here's the Hegney. Top. Nice shot. <clears throat> Got to get a shot. Back on and saw earlier. behind the net. Over to Bolger. Get a shot. Bolger there. looking oh. in front oh. for Griffin, right? Griffin Marquis, and it was just not to be. There was a nice pass out to Anastasio. There's about two minutes left to go in the game. Two minutes and four seconds to be exact. Marquis tries to go rink wide pass to Beckinsall. broken up there by Bobby Lachance. And there's Connor Melanson in the corner taking on two Trojans back behind the Zamboni door. And Reed Bulger comes away with the puck behind Loveland. We've got a minute 40 seconds left to go in the game. <clears throat> Outbreaks, and there's a quick shot on that right over the glove of uh, Schulitz. Be smart here, boys. Be smart. Inside two minutes. A minute 30 to be exact. And comes Quinn Hagney with a head of steam. Skate now. Down the left side. He's trying to take it right in front, right on net. Whoa, what a great play by Quinn. That's fantastic <clears throat> right there. And Livingston now, Aaron back. Gets the puck over to Ryan McCormick. So it looks like Coach Balsowitz has some offensive, defensive guys out there. And here come the Trojans. Livingston breaking down the left-hand side right around Camberone. One minute to go in the game. Back behind to Perlman. Perlman trying to get the puck out in front to McCormick. Back to the defense. McCormick back behind to Perlman. Get a shot Perlman there. just trying to get the puck out in front. <coughs> Hoping that it bounces around. Back to even strength. And uh, down breaks Corey Alissi. And a great pass over to number 20. Oh, back to Alyssia. Wow. And they can't. Great save. Oh, my Lord. 25 seconds to go. That was the save of the game. Justin Loveland with an incredible save. Beautiful job. Now breaks back the Trojans. Chased by number 24, J.J. Hurley. All right. Be smart now. Livingston keeps the puck in. There's nine seconds to go. Looks like this one's heading for overtime, fellas. Three, two, one. I think the horn is going to sound, and we are heading for overtime. Northwest Catholic Lions score midway through the third period on a bing-bang play. Uh, net <clears throat> goal by Corey Alissi, and I believe Finn Boyd was the one that shot the puck in on net. So we've got a uh, tie game. They almost got a shorthanded goal with less than a minute left, too. They sure did. That would have been a heartbreaker right there. They sure did. So we've got, it looks like Keith, Coach Keith Balsawith is uh, working his magic down there with Coach Lee. I've got the utmost faith in those two guys that they're going to give us the best chance to win. It's all about the players' execution. As the Melanson boys, both Donald and Daniel, take this time to talk to their team as well. We play one eight-minute overtime, and I believe if nobody scores, the game ends in a tie. Correct, That's correct. Jake? That is correct. There is no shootouts. And neither team right now has a tie. Correct. Right? We've got a 4-5 and five record for the Simsbury Trojans and a 5-1 and one record for the Lions. Well, you can't be playing on your heels at this point. No. And, and here's the deal with Simsbury, where they are. 
you know, they have to start lining things up for the for the playoffs. Yeah. Right? The conference playoffs. And, you know, there's there's no reason to, to drop back and try to play, you know, tight right. tight defense at this point. You're gonna right. have to you're gonna have to put some pressure on <clears throat> and open it up a little bit. Um and, and take your best shot at it. So I, I think you're probably gonna end up seeing uh both of the brothers being on the ice at the same time, maybe. Oh, absolutely. I think you might. So we switch ends <clears throat> as we get ready now for overtime. So five on five. All right, fellas, here we go. We're Puck underway. drops, and we are underway. So we have Simsbury wins the faceoff down into the Northwest Catholic zone. <clears throat> Jonathan Hong trying to keep the puck in. It's broken up by Cam Brown, but a nice stick check by Jonathan. And broken up there by Connor. It's in the skate of the referee. Ryan McCormick now takes the puck away. He gets it to center ice to Perlman. Perlman's taken off his skates by Barone. <clears throat> it's back <clears throat> behind the Northwest Catholic goalie. Barone gives a little touch pass over to Connor, who tries to get it over to Bobby Lachance. And out breaks the Lions on the right-hand side. And let's see who went into the boards. I think they went in head first. It looks like that might be, is that Mike Zapp? Yeah, that's never good. No. Uh, Quinn Hegney. Yep. Number eight, Hegney. And here's the uh, Trojans in behind that infamous Z Zamboni door area, Jake. Yep. Never good. No. <coughs> Hegney now trying to get it back behind for Livingston. And Northwest just decides they're going to ice it so they can get a line change. It's going to be back behind. I believe the faceoff will be to the... Left-hand yep. side of Patrick Schulitz, who's had a heck of a game between the pipes for Northwest Catholic. He's done a really good job. Get ready for the rush, <coughs> boys. Get ready for the rush. It was a Livingston, McCormick, Perlman line. 5-6-7 line. The 5-6-7 line. Griffin Marquis shoves the puck back in behind Schulitz. Taken back there by number 15, Gavin Burke. Pinched in by Connor Wilhelm. Backed up by Livingston. <coughs> As Northwest Catholic tries to break in. Connor gives the puck up behind the net right there to Jack McDermott. And Wilhelm still trying to get out. His head's up. He's skating. Nice outlet pass. To McCormick. McCormick down the left side. Looking to center the puck. And out back to Shot. Livingston. Quick. Mm. Oh, nice uh, block. He tried to get it. Unfortunately, Livingston tried to get it through three or four lines. And it hit a couple of legs and stayed right there. Nice touch there by Perlman. He needs a uh, line change. Trying to get it over to Connor Melanson. Melanson gets it over to Ethan Porter. Porter behind. They shove the puck out in front. There's Daniel Toothaker. Goes back behind. There's Wilhelm in the corner. Come on, play that puck now. Helped out by Livingston. <clears throat> Northwest Catholics able to get the puck, and that is Bobby Lachance. This is going to be an icing. It's chased after by Jack Gonzalez. And it's going to be a face-off to the left-hand side of Justin Loveland, who as well has played a heck of a game. We've got five minutes and two seconds to go in overtime here at the International Skating Center in Simsbury. On a somewhat balmy March 9th. It was almost 60 degrees today. There's Connor Melanson with the puck. It's knocked off his skate and back down there goes Drew. No icing. Icing is called off. Anastasio went back behind the net with Finn Boyd. And Northwest able to gain control. 
out in front to Hegney. Hegney gloves the puck, tries to keep it in and get a shot on net. Back in behind here goes Anastasio. He's looking for Hegney. Nice defensive play broken up uh, down there by uh, Northwest. Jonathan in the corner. It's back out to Reed Bulger. Bulger tries to get the pass out to Livingston. It's going to be an icing as it's chased back there by J.J. Hurley. And we're going to have a stoppage in play with 4 minutes and 12 seconds. So not a lot of puck action in front of the net by either team thus far. We're almost halfway through the overtime. Tentative. <coughs> tentative, tentative at this point. Face off one there by Northwest. McCormick falls, loses an edge on his skates. Back behind. Griffin Marquis gets the puck off to Livingston, who abruptly throws it into the... Now, in the NHL, Jake's there, right? That'd be a penalty, I think. Yeah. If it, the puck does right. not hit a player, a stick, or uh, or the glass, if it clears, that is a delay, delay game delay penalty. Delay game, right? Yep. That is Perlman against McDermott. Two number fives going at it. One by McDermott. Trying to get oh. the puck out in front. Great save by Loveland. He went into a split and made a nice glove save. He's got both Livingston boys out there. We got Aaron and Elijah. We got McDermott. We got Griffin, Marquis, and Perlman. <clears throat> Livingston against Mar McDermott right now. Got to get out With of the zone. Got to get it out of the zone here. Elijah Livingston over to Perlman. Perlman does get it out of the zone briefly. As it's taken back over, rink-wide pass broken up by McCormick. All right, dig that puck out, boys. There we go. There's Perlman. Perlman spins around, taken down. Oh, right out in front, and it just hopped over the stick of, I believe, yes, that was Elijah Livingston. And let's see, here is Perlman trying to get the puck. It bounced off of... Uh, a defender, a Northwest Catholic defender, and it went right to Griffin Marquis. We're getting into a uh, little bit of an antsy time here as the puck's bouncing all over the place, finally corralled by Livingston. He tries to get it up. Oh! <clears throat> Luke Melanson tried to get it up to Elijah Livingston and just again hopped over a stick. we got to remember, fellas, at this point the ice is really choppy. A lot of skate marks and things like that, so that puck's bouncing all over the place. Sims are just trying to. Uh-oh, here we go. This could potentially be a breakaway by L right out in front. Oh, oh what, what a, a great save by Loveland. Holy cow, wow. that was incredible. Bobby Lachance had a, uh, wow. had a chance to put the game away. Simsbury chooses to ice it as Livingston was trying to get the puck to uh, Quinn Hegney. Uh, but what a fantastic stay save right below us. Great wow. camera work there by Nicholas. That was incredible, huh, CC? Outstanding. That saves the uh, that saves the game right there. So far, let's go now, boys. Let's make it worthwhile here. All right, here we go. Livingston takes the face off with Bobby Lachance. <clears throat> One by Lachance. Puck is again, once again, on edge, bouncing around. Livingston just oh, trying to get it go. out. Here skate we go to McCormick. Skate. And spun around back there by Jack Gonzalez. Skate now. Northwest Catholic trying to get out. Hits the referee down in the corner. Puck comes back to Jonathan Wang, number nine. Back over to Perlman. Perlman just shoves it in. We got a minute, 50 seconds to go in overtime. Now's the time to empty the tank, fellas. Now is the time. A minute 40 to go. Northwest Catholic trying to get out of their zone, and this is how the first goal happened for Simsbury, where they were non-controlling the puck in their own zone. Um, and here breaks out Northwest Catholic. Down the right-hand side is Bobby Lachance. Lachance trying to get around. Beautiful move there by Bulger. Well, the chance gets it back to Connor Melanson. <clears throat> Connor asking for the puck back. Oh. The chance trying to get it out in front to Cameron Barone and takes it outside. 
and unable to be kept in by Jack Gonzalez. Back over to Connor. Here's Melanson. Melanson trying to get the toe drag back over and broken up by Simsbury. One minute to go in overtime. There's Luke Melanson against Connor against Camberone. Down breaks J.J. Hurley. Hurley shoots the puck wide. All right, got to skate here, boys. Can. Let's go. Over to Jack McDermott. McDermott into Connor Melanson. Go now. Simsbury trying to get the puck out of the zone. Hegney throws it back into the pile. Get back on it. Broken up there by Connor. Hegney looking for some help. Tries to reverse course. Northwest is cheaping in. J.J. Hurley kept the puck in. They're racing after it is Luke Melanson, but taken back by Hurley, and then taken back by Patrick Mahar. He's looking as Simsbury does a line change with a 10 seconds to go in the game. There's a pass out in front. Oh, oh beautiful save by Schultz. Holy cow. Sticks are going up. Unbelievable save by Patrick Schulitz with five seconds to go in the game. Wow. Oh, oh I don't know how fun. much more to say about that. I think Patrick the Mahar. Net, the net got kicked off the stanchion. Yeah, the net got kicked off, but I think the puck bounced right to Patrick, who had what appeared to me, and again, we're at the far end of the rink, but it looked like he had an open net on the left-hand side. And just couldn't corral it enough to get it in the net. But you're right. See, see, there were sticks going up. I think there was a little, uh, you know, premature celebration there. Um, it looked close. <clears throat> Livingston now will take the face off. I'm sure they have one dialed up for uh, timeout. Yeah, I'll, we're gonna get I'll, a timeout here. I have some waiting to plan. see who Simsbury's time. I assume, but I don't want to make the assumption that it is a Simsbury timeout. As Coach Balsowitz and Time Coach out Lee. Timeout, Northwest Catholic. Oh, really? That was the signal Good that, call, I saw, that I saw. Good call, buddy. Well, I think they wanted to see them set up first. Once what they... an unbelievable game here at the end. As It is a one-to-one. -one. We're deadlocked at one. I don't know. You think they pull a goalie here? Take a shot at the win. Um, Six on five. Ah, boy, that's a good one, CC. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think know they, if I, I think do they, that. Well, you know. You know, I, 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 you know you, you've beat Northwest Catholic once, right? So you can go into the tournament 101 against them, you know, which is a, uh, a, a fantastic uh, record. I think... Honestly, if I'm being honest with myself, and you guys, please correct me if you think I'm wrong. Um, <clears throat> I think Northwest Catholic has been the better team tonight. Well, they've had they've had more opportunities. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And you know, and and probably the if you go if you go you know who's the best player on the ice tonight? Yeah. He probably is wearing a green jersey. So uh, you know, it's been it's been. It's been pretty balanced. The opportunities uh, have, have gone back and forth. That's probably more fair. That's probably more fair that, that, that the game's been more balanced. Um, it seems to me, you know, calling the game that Simsbury had less chances than Northwest, but maybe not. Here's a face-off here now with five seconds to go. Tried to shove right into the net. This game's going to end in a tie. <clears throat> Horn sounds, and we're done. So, a good game by both teams. Um, CC, I think you called it. I think it was a balanced attack. At times, it felt as though there was a little bit more of a rush and sense of urgency from Northwest Catholic. But at the end of the day, it's a one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tie. Game ends in a tie. We are going to try to get Coach Keith Balsowitz up here uh, for a, <coughs> a quick interview and until that point we'll uh, we'll leave you so from the international skating center of simsbury tonight's game ends in a 1-1 tie we'll be back right after this all right team we're back unbelievable as we said we've got coach balsowitz with us uh an incredible game and literally he is just seconds out of the locker room so uh you know 
Coach, what do you say about that? I mean, overtime, a uh, lot of chances for both teams in the end there. A couple of times your heart must have gone up and sunk, and, you know, a lot of good uh, knowledge between the two teams. They know each other. Mm-hmm. This is not an uncommon opponent to you guys. So take me in the locker room. What would you just say to the guys? How uh, how you feeling? I, I- I thought we played a tremendous game. I mean, uh, from from uh, Justin Loveland making a couple of key saves here late, and uh, you know our our defense playing well, our forwards. You know, we had chances. We struggle. We struggle to score this year, and yeah. and and we kind of we kind of know that. So so we have to try to manufacture some goals by getting getting the puck still front of the net and getting bodies there. And um, you know, listen. Northwest Catholic right now, I think, is the is number two in our conference. Okay. I think East Catholic is first, right? And it's only by like a point. Okay. So uh, so we've played them twice. We beat them in overtime, and we've tied them. So I, you know what? I'm you happy with that. Right, yeah. <laughs> and actually, coming off of two tough games, right? We missed the, the Xavier game, which was a tough game. Mm-hmm. I think you had a lead late in that game, yep. and then they kind of came back, tied it, and then won late. Yep. Um, and then another tough game, I think, Farmington Far- Valley, who we had done a week or so ago. So you had them again right. um, in so a we, different so, game. So the first game, we beat them in overtime. Yep. And the yep. second game game last week we lost to them 3-1 they had an empty net goal real, okay. real late so know? it was close I mean both yeah. all our games are close yeah and, and that's the way they're going to be yeah and yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of exactly what I expected um, but uh, but I, I like the way that we played today I thought we played a complete game all the way around and uh, one of the tied. things I noticed tonight and again because I haven't seen the last two games but mm-hmm. one of the things I noticed tonight was freshmen are getting some ice time yes I mean now is that just to keep the other lines fresh I mean you go on four lines or what's the deal there because I noticed and let me just say from that first Farmington Valley game I remember announcing a few of them a couple of times mm-hmm. but tonight I saw them out there in some critical spots yes because okay. because we, we have a we have a pretty young team yeah Yep. And uh, and I think our young guys are very talented. You know what they don't have is they don't have the big bodies. You yep. know they don't have the size. So yep. I try to spot them in there. Yep. And uh, but but I want them to play, and I think they can be effective if spotted in the right places. So uh, so that's what that's what we're looking for. And you know what's interesting at the end of the day, uh, call it what you want. This season it's an abbreviated season yep. um, to get the young guys some experience. That's not a bad thing. No, it's a fantastic thing. Yeah. And, so. and I think this is a great year to do it. So, well, you know, I'm trying to take advantage of it. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you taking your time. I know it's never, uh, you know, you want to come up on a win. Hey. You don't want to come up on a loss, you know. But Hey, you come up on a tie, like yeah. I said. It's like kissing your sister. Uh, you know, <laughs> but it's always, I, it's always good talking to a Trojan alumni. Uh, I said to CC, I said to CC, <laughs> I want to be politically correct. I don't know if I, I should say that, but I almost said the same thing at the well, end of the I, game. I, you I, know? I, I told uh, I told the, the Melanson boys. I said that was pretty good pillow fight. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Exactly right. <laughs> Coach Balsawitz, right, thank you very you. much, buddy. Thank and, you. And uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. We're back. We're now with head coach from Northwest Catholic, Dan Melanson. Um, terrific game tonight. Uh, obviously, two teams that uh, were playing very hard. Uh, went back and forth. You know, Simsbury took the lead, one nothing. Northwest came back. It was a little back and forth in overtime. Great opportunities by both teams in overtime. I was just telling Coach Bolsowitz, like, your heart raises and then it goes up and all of that. So take me a little bit through the emotions and uh, how you thought the team played tonight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was uh, like you said, it was a back and forth game. Uh, at any chance, you know, at any point in the game, I felt either team could yeah. put another one in, and we just wanted to make sure it wasn't Simsbury to, <laughs> to go behind two. Yeah. Um, you know, so uh, I knew I had a feeling that we were going to tie it up, and and you know, because we just had good energy going, and uh, you know, fortunately, we were able to. Yeah, we noticed it here, too, and you'll see on our broadcast, we, <clears throat> we talk about momentum swings, and there clearly was a point in time where Northwest was really had the momentum in that third period. It almost felt like the ice was tilted, you know, it was a little bit, and Patrick did a phenomenal job between the pipes. He yes. had a great game, as did Justin, as did Justin right? Yes, so yes. two good goaltenders, yep. uh, really good game. You guys are having a fantastic season, as abbreviated as it is, and all these we pro protocols we have to go through uh, but how's that been how's that been trying to deal with this stuff and 
Yeah, you know, it's once again as as every team, I'm sure uh, we're fortunate to be on the ice. Yeah, right. Uh, but you're dealing with different things. We're we two kids, two of my starters in quarantine, just getting oh, out. Boy. Okay. You know, so uh, you know, you know, just. Uh, you deal with it, yeah. right? And next man up, and right. and that's what it is. And I know every team is going through it. I'll you know, tell you, so. it's exciting for us just to see live sports. I mean, we've been, oh, my is God. It? It's been, you know, forever and a day. I think it was prior to our last game, it was 14 months since we did a game on SCTV. So wow. we're just happy like you. Absolutely. I can't let you go without – we talked pregame about your dad and about the whole, you know, what the Melanson family means to Simsbury as far as Simsbury hockey goes. It's, for me personally, dating back to those days and talking about – pregame, you know, I was so fortunate enough to be on one of those midget teams that was coached by your dad yes. uh, prior to myself playing for Simsbury Trojans. So um, I, it just means a lot, I think, to me to see, you know, Donald, yourself, Paul, you know, you guys, and then now the next generation of Melanson's on the ice. Um, you know, Luke played a good game today. Great. Great. Connor is so fluid. I've told you this a million times, but the puck stays on his stick. Um, he's got an uncanny ability. He always keeps his head up. I noticed that by a, a few guys. Drew Anastasio. He's a special yes, player with absolutely. Simsbury, right? You know, there's you see enough players around the league, and you start to understand, you know, some that separate from others. So um, it must be special for you. You know, um, to have your brother with you, um, to just have your family still uh, associated with Simsbury hockey. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, coach with a brother, coach, uh, coach nephews, coach yep. against nephews. I think every kid on that Simsbury bench I coached. Yeah. You know, um, so it's just regardless you you know I coach Drew as a squirt lights and yep. squirts and, <clears throat> so you, you know knew. yeah, yeah absolutely. you know the kids absolutely they know you. and to yep. see him succeed you know yep. and to continue on, on it's it's great. It's it's rewarding. You know, it was rewarding. nice during a timeout to see Patrick and Justin high five each other uh, as they were passing benches. I don't know if you caught, you probably didn't catch that because you were heads down with the team, but the sportsmanship of that uh, is something you don't see when they play Farmington Valley or they play Xavier or they play mm, some of these right. other teams. They just know each other, right? So you know it's going to be. I, I like what Coach Balswood said. Thanks for the pillow fighter. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's excellent. I know. That's I good. Know. Yes. Well, Danny, thank you so much. I know uh, you're taking time to come up here. Um, good tie. I know you you're second, I think, in the standings for uh, right uh, the now, division. Yep. Yep. So we have quite a few games left. You so, do. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, five more games. So. Okay. All right. Yep. I think Simsbury just has two remaining. So they got I uh, so. one. Right, two coming up, so uh, I'm getting head nodded here from Jake. So, Well, thank you again. Appreciate it. Um, and thanks to our SCTV audience. A good, We brought a good game to you tonight, a 1-1 tie between Northwest Catholic and your Simsbury Trojans, and we'll see you back at another game. Take care. Thank you. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.